let's take a look at the Joyce's Mother Green comparison. So what I'm going to compare it to is Roman Schmal Aquarius Green, um, Daniel Smith Undersea Green, which are very similar colors, um, Roman Schmal Hooker's Green, Daniel Smith Serpentine Green, and Daniel Smith Green Appetite Genuine. I know these seem kind of atypical, but um, they're really as similar as I could find to the Joyce's Mother Green. In the initial video where I swatched it out, um, I mentioned that it's really not like any other colors, so these are the closest that I could find. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. I think I'm going to do Joyce's Mother Green first since we're comparing everything to it. Just want to make sure I have everything in the right box. Not always easy. Okay. Let's see how this tape works. I usually only use this tape when I'm doing a painting, but um, I don't have a lot of use for the like the skinny tape, so I thought, why not? Why not? Okay, and that comes out even. It's a little thick here. So Joyce's Mother Green has PG7, PY42, and PBR7 in it. It's also a Light Fast 1, um, so all of these are Light Fast 1, meaning that they're all highly Light Fast, so they're not going to fade on you. Um, this one, Joyce's Mother Green, is also transparent and staining. So now we're doing Aquarius Green by Roman Schmal. So this one is um, semi-transparent and staining. I know this is a lot darker than the Joyce's Mother Green, but like I said, it was really hard to find colors that were anywhere near close. So we're just kind of looking at, I guess, competitors. Okay, and I'm going to do Daniel Smith Undersea Green now. Um, that one... Ugh. I forgot to tell you the pigment for Roman Schmal Aquarius Green. Um, this is PY150, PBR25, and PB29, the Aquarius Green. And then the Daniel Smith um, Undersea Green, it's um, semi-transparent and uh, mildly staining. I need to get a little water on my brush for this one. This came out with some binder. It was not very fun to work with. Well, now we know if we want like a black and we're doing a landscape or anything with green, 
uh, undersea green will go there by all by itself for you. So I cannot believe how dark this is. I mean, I know there's too much pigment down, but I'm just saying if you're already using it, it would be a quick way to uh, get you a very dark, dark. with that. Okay, and then Roman Schmal Hooker's Green. It's PY150 and PB27. It's transparent and staining. Oh, it's so pretty. It's bright. I'm usually not into really bright colors, but I don't know. I think this is pretty. So pretty, I got distracted and forgot to put regular water down. Okay. All of these actually go really, really dark if you want them to. Although I am a really big fan of using either um, green or violet to neutralize color and make darks. Daniel Smith Serpentine Genuine. No pigment number, of course, um, and it is, let's see, semi-transparent and non-staining. So you can see the ones at the top are closer together as far as hue compared to these ones at the bottom. Like this one's really bright. of hard to find ones that have both brown and yellow without too much of either. Okay, and then Daniel Smith Green Appetite Genuine. So this is um, semi-transparent and low staining. Okay, that feels a lot closer to the ones above. From the darkness. Water. It's gonna. Yeah, I'm. I'm kind of questioning how Serpentine Genuine made it onto my list at this point, but it's there, so. But I do think these two, and then to some extent the Green Appetite Genuine, but like I said, it was really hard to find greens that were similar. I think the undersea green is actually the closest. But we'll see in a few minutes once I glaze them. 
Aquarius green. I'm just gonna start from the from left to right. Serpentine Genuine. And the Green Appetite Genuine. Last one. Sorry, it's hard to do these ones on the edges. Well, it's not hard. I just don't want the page behind to, to be all green. Okay, and now let's take a look. So this is the Aquarius screen by Roman Schmal. And then we have the Da Vinci Mother's Green. I'm sorry, Joyce's Mother Green. <laughs> and then Daniel Smith Undersea Green. And then here we have Roman Schmal Hooker's Green. Daniel Smith Serpentine Genuine. And then Daniel Smith Green Appetite Genuine. So let's take the tape off. It's always the best part. So I hope this comparison was helpful and gives you a better idea of what Da Vinci Joyce's Mother Green looks like. Um, as I said, it really was difficult for me to find colors that truly matched it. Um, so still, this should give you good reference points. So thank you so much for watching, um, and I will see you in the next video.